Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Talk. Uh, not uh, Tumba, <laughs> but Let's Talk. Um, in this video, uh, I'm going to put a little disclaimer at the beginning, um, because it's going to be talking about something that uh, not only not only do I think not a lot of people want to talk about, nor do I find it particularly interesting for others, um, but it's it's something. It's a therapy. It's a, it's a chat. Uh, so I want to talk about it. Um, but yes, I definitely don't think this will be for everyone. We're essentially going to be talking about like YouTube stuff and 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 like really get into it um, and whatnot. So I, I wanted to like by that I mean like talking about views and talking about like what's the smartest course of action for you to do on YouTube and things like that. And not as not from a point of like oh I know what the hell you do, but from a point of just talking. Because uh, I got a comment recently and I wanted to talk about it because it stirred this in me. Okay, uh, so where do we start? Uh, well, as as usual, I was I was reading comments when I was exercising, and you're in a, a hormone infused state, I suppose, adrenaline infused state, whatever you want. Um, and I read this comment, and I realized this commenter is not being at all negative. I think in the past he said amazing kind things and etc. And this is not negative. <laughs> it's on a passive level, it's not negative. But it was a comment that I've always held dear to my heart. Um, a t like the type of comment that I've always held dear to my heart. Um, said in a way that was different. Um, and I thought we would talk about it. So, the comment reads this. I feel so bad for you at times. You put so much time and effort into these videos not getting recognized. You are working hard, not smart. If this is just fun, then keep at it. But if you want to actually turn this into something, you need to pick a better game and content. You aren't evolving and adapting to trends. And I'll be honest, those last two were the ones that were a bit uh, like, to me. Not only because I have bad experience doing the trend bullshit, but also the adapting to me made me, or like, no, evolving. Evolving got me, where I was like, Damn, because it, I don't know, we're just going to chat again. I hope, I hope uh, this whole video, it doesn't make me feel or sound like I, I know anything. I'm just talking, so I hope you guys get that. Um, and that's what this is. It's just laid back chatting about numbers and and my experience through those numbers and etc. Let's begin. <laughs> um, so, the first, first part of the comment, I... Uh, uh, thank you. Uh, regardless of the way you said it, you essentially said that I worked hard on my videos and that I don't get recognized and you think that's a shame. Uh, I always come from the perception of, I don't think anyone, I don't think my videos are, like, to say that you deserve something in anything, I feel like it's kind of weird because there's always someone that's working harder than you, but I still understand what you're saying. I still think that's amazing. The fact that you think I deserve anything is great. Um, me personally, to, for sanity's sake, and we'll get into this, um, I've always come at it from that angle where I'm like, you know what? I'm just kind of good with with anything because anything is too much and 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 nothing is too little. I guess is the way I go at it. Anyways, one of the things uh, you say is uh, you put time um, and effort into these videos. You are working hard, not smart. So the thing is with this is yes, um, yes, and I don't want to get like a. A certain way about it but I, I, I try I try my absolute hardest and I, and I know that and someone could watch my videos and and watch another person's and be like oh that's not the same like you know what I mean like oh you're saying you're trying or there's effort but yet you don't measure up to like a Vanos edit or a, a PewDiePie goofy edit thing etc all these wonderful people um, or anything like that. Like, how can you say that you're putting effort in when, when you know, I have all these other examples of, of quality uh, and you're not really matching up to that. Um, but one of them is a lot of those people who have a full-time editor <laughs> and uh, whatnot. Me, <laughs> I, I don't. But that's excuses. Um, the main thing is that, what, like, for me, I find an extreme amount of value in being there consistently. Um, to the to the point where it's almost damaging to me because I'd like I'll stay up till 4 a.m. Just trying to make a video just so I have it for the following day Just so if anything happens that day my internet gets slow or whatever it'll get to you guys um, Because I feel like that's that's once that's something that I personally based on my own experience hold dear um, uh, Being there for someone uh, being there for you guys uh, for anyone who would have me 
Um, if you're having a bad day, I take great solace in knowing that I can maybe make you smile for even a second. I'm not saying that to be a good person. I don't particularly think I'm a good person. I think I'm by average. <laughs> I try to be okay. I try to be as good as I can be. I just don't like to think about that. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I, I try. Um, I, that, that's something that I really enjoy. A lot of people don't like the whole, like, daily videos are hard thing. But to me, I really like making daily videos. I like that I'm there for you guys as much as I can be. Um, but with the aspect of daily videos and whatnot, and with the content that I've formed, like, I've, I've, I really like having longer videos. Like, I like having anywhere between 20 to 30 minute videos. I like that. It makes me feel like it's like a little show that you can have on the background and do whatever you're gonna do, you know? Um, I know some people that, like, you know, those shows I mentioned, Vanos, whatever, um, they, uh, they typically have 10 minute videos, so they can condense it down and just compact it with the best possible moment. Anyways, when it comes to the whole time and effort thing, even though to someone it may not seem like I'm doing that, I, I, I am. <laughs> is my, I maybe you don't believe me, which is fine, but I promise you I am, but it's just the conditions of daily uploads and whatnot that have kind of constrained the crazy edits that I can do, the the planning of, of, of some videos having a huge purpose and others sometimes not, and, and etc. But um, the other thing you said is you are working hard, not smart. Um, if you actually want to make this something, you need to pick better games and content. Uh, you aren't evolving um, and adapting to trends. Uh, so let's let's go with that whole, that thing is a kind of a, a bottled statement, <laughs> like a huge thing that we can kind of take away and, and add to. I have never, not only had luck with, with getting games, let's start with that. I need to pick better games. Now immediately when I think, when I think of that, when I hear that, I think of someone basically saying, you need to play more Fortnites, you need to play the games that are the highest Google searched games out there. You need to play Call of Duty when it's popular. You need to, you, need, you should have played Minecraft when it was popular, which I was on YouTube when that boom was happening. Uh, you need to play um, Battlegrounds, you know, things like that, things that are popular. The thing is, is that one, I don't personally find great deals of enjoyment from those games, so I'd be lying. I'd be lying the whole video. I'd be like, woohoo, even though I don't care. <laughs> so I'd have to be faking my happiness, which I believe dearly, having been watching YouTube as much as doing YouTube for as long as I have, people can feel that. People can feel when you're there, when you're at that point where you're just there. And, it, and to me, it's the most disingenuous, heartbreaking thing when I see it, personally. I, I don't like it. I really don't like when someone is there just because they have to be there. When I'm there, I'm there because I want to be. I'm there because I, I, I think I can add something to it, yeah? Which is a huge thing when it comes to the games like Fortnite, PUBG, all these other games. If I really love them and played them, I'd be like, fuck yeah, I want to make videos for it. Um, and then you might be like, well, perfect. Maybe you'll just wait, and then eventually a game that you enjoy and happens to be popular will line up. I disagree. I disagree highly. The only reason why I say that is because in the past, I've done this. I've tried to do this. I've tried to mess with trends and whatnot. Uh, you know, I, when Destiny was at the peak of it's like, oh my god, it's amazing. I tried to make videos for it, and it did awful. I'm not sure if I was just bad at acting because I was trying to make videos that I wasn't exactly into or comfortable with. But I, uh, I, th I honestly, I think people can pick up that shit real fast. And unless you're offering something that is in such little demand, then maybe it can work even if you're not enjoying it entirely. Uh, but that's the thing, is that like any game that is trending or anything like that is already being played by thousands of people and already, like that's one of the reasons why it's useless for me to play Fortnite, Fortnite right now. It's useless for me to play any game that I can't grow in, you know what I mean? Like I know a ton of people who immediately jumped on the Fortnite bandwagon. I can promise you that I don't think it's going to do wonders for them. I, I People already have their established people that they go to for that. And that's always been the case throughout YouTube. That's why I think people misread trend following. So, and that's the thing. that I, I, I don't think you're wrong in this. There are aspects of what you say that are absolutely correct. And that difference to me would be uh, following a trend to being the trendsetter. I know that sounds stupid, but hear me out. Uh, the, the most popular person on this site was that for forever still is more or less uh, PewDiePie that was the one thing he did constantly is he'd go to Steam uh, go down just start fucking scrolling down millions of different games and just seeing which ones he could make fun of and were were video worthy and then just playing them and that was what he did and then he set the trend 
and I'm not sure if he planned this, but he probably did because he's extremely intelligent, but, um, when, when, when he does a game, like a scary game back in the day, that's what he did, a scary game, it issued in people wanting to do that scary game as well, some would say copying, but I've never heard of him ever go against people doing that, I never heard him, like, scream, that person's copying me, because I think he knew, he knew the value of someone copying him, so to speak, uh, because even if they did do a Slender Man or, or an Amnesia, whatever, um, playthrough, there's a high likelihood that he is going to be in the recommended, which means that even people that are copying him, he's going to be having a better AOE effect of the people who are copying him also bleeding over into his content. I, I'm not sure if he, he knew exactly that's what he was doing, but I definitely, I think he's seen that happening and was like, okay, you know, copy away, because as long as I'm in that sidebar, that's a potential viewer that I could potentially have. Um, and as long as my content's better than yours, then you can copy me all you want. I'm still going to be the cream of the crop, you know what I mean? Uh, so I think there is something to that, uh, to, to be that the trend follower and the trend setter. But to me, that's the difference. Uh, I don't think it's you're going to get much out of just jumping on Fortnite, especially now that everyone's already established who their guy is, you know? Um, I don't think getting on PUBG, getting on Destiny even, um, any of those games is good. I think the only hope that you can get from mass growth through that means um, is if you're doing that, if you're finding the game, if you're the first to the very thing. But like I said, I'm the way my like upload schedule and everything works, I, I don't... Also, I didn't find value in that. Like A lot of people are like, you need to be the first to get to that thing. I don't really think that's the case at all. Uh, if, if someone, if you if you get there the very first, like you're the first person to cover that game, um, but there's a person with a slight audience that gets that first, he's gonna outshadow you a thousand percent. That's why it's so hard to grow on YouTube, I think, for a lot of people. So yeah, that's that's the whole trend thing. My my side of it is, I tried it in the past, it didn't work. In fact, it worked against me. I got significantly less traction or whatever. Um, I. And I think the reason for that was because I was jumping onto something that I knew was popular and not something that I thought had the potential to be popular. Uh, which for Let It Die, in games like that, that panned out. <laughs> that pans out greatly, when I'm like, hey. But also, it's not even about that. Let It Die is a special case because there's still, like, even now, there's still room to, to grow in that. Like, for any other YouTuber, because there's just no one covering the game. So I'm your, like, sloppy seconds, basically. I'm, I'm like, the, the person that's only given it that content, so of course... People are going to come to the only source of that content. Which happens to be me and a few other amazing content creators. But yes. Um, anyways. Putting that aside. So that's why the whole trend thing to me never really works and pans out. Um, now. You also say um, you aren't evolving. Which that out of the whole comment. And I know you didn't mean this in a negative way. That was the one that kind of bothered me. Now, the thing is, whenever something like that happens, I have to check for me. It's not check for you. Check for me. Because I'm like, why did that... Why did that fucking bother me? Why did that... Why did that get under my skin? Why Why did that... That I know you didn't mean it in a negative way. And it's not It's not on you. I don't think you're a mean person or a mean, mean-spirited person. Of course not. But I, I still take stock in that I didn't enjoy hearing that. Um, I feel like it's because... A part of me is, is like that constantly. A part of me is like super self-evaluating constantly to the degree in which it's probably not healthy. Uh, where I'm always like, I hope I'm better. I hope I'm a better person today than I was yesterday. I hope I did more today than I did the previous day. I hope I'm improving as a human. I hope I'm under like in, in widening my mind so I'm not just an idiot. And this and this and that. But also, like when it come, like I've been on YouTube for fucking ever. Dude. Let, I'm a, let's look. How long was I here? How long has it been? I, I've been saying like four months, four years, but I'm not even sure that's correct at this point. Is it four years? I thought it was four years, two years ago. I've been on the site for so long. I know some people have been on there for longer. I'm not saying I, I haven't, but yeah. Oh, six years. Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed it. Oh, <laughs> I've been on the site for six years. Six years. And I started watching YouTube when I was 10. I'm currently 21. <laughs> so yeah. Needless to say, if you want to go back and watch, even like, if you want to go back a couple months, like my Mass Effect content, I feel like, I don't know, but to me, maybe it's just because I'm, I, I edit myself, and like, you guys gradually see me change, whereas I, I edit myself, so I know when there's certain things that are off, offbeat a little bit, I, but I just think, 
there's two parts of me. One part where I was like, yeah, I really don't like the evolving part because I'm always at that struggle within me where I want to be better than I was before. Um, even if it's just a little bit better every day. But um, then there's the other aspect of my brain that's like, hey, I'm actually, it's, I'm evolving really, really fucking well. Um, the only thing is, is that my content isn't drastically changing. But then again, I don't want my content to exact, it, it, it change. Okay, so we've already rambled on about enough of this, but this is going to escher me into the other aspect of the video, which is hopefully going to be a little less speedy, because I was really trying to explain things, and I just kind of want to talk, you know? It's the difference between when you're trying to articulate yourself and then when you're just trying to talk about things. All right. Hmm. I think the reason why this comment... And, I, and again, I know... I know uh, I'm gonna cut that out. Um, I know person that wrote the comment. Uh, you're in no way being even a little bit negative. If anything, you're being kind and you're wanting to help me. But <laughs> regardless of that, it, it kind of fucked with me a little bit. It bothered me because I was like, man. Because I've always really liked comments like this because they kind of give me hope, you know. Um, and that's such a thing. I think the reason why it bothered me to finish my train of thought. Um, it has the aura of, of, of like not not thinking that I necessarily am trying to be successful as well the thing I think the reason why it bothered me is because there's some some truth to that because in the past I think I think I was there was a there was a time when I was like oh my god dude, I need I need to make this work like you know what I mean I, I chose to pursue this, whereas uh, many others chose to like go into being an electrician, and of course now that I'm 21, it's paying off for them. They're having a house, they're having a family, and it's it's like okay. So for me, it's like well fuck, well shit. Like I I made this choice, and that was this is like two years ago. It happened about two years ago, um, where I came to this revelation where I was like, man, I need I need to get it to work. I need to get it to work, and then I I found more than ever, it wasn't working. It wasn't working at all. And not only did it not work, but I hated it. Hated it. And that's the thing that's kind of heartbreaking to me. It's because, again, I've been on YouTube ever since I was 10. And I, I really enjoy YouTube. I really enjoy watching content creators, watching personalities, hearing offensive jokes that you wouldn't hear on television. <laughs> Stuff like that. Um, I don't know. I got to a point where I felt like I wasn't sure if I was made for it. You know, like, as much as you want something, are you willing to do the things that would, that would get you it, you know? I guess I shouldn't say, you know, uh, I should explain. For instance, um, there are certain things that YouTubers do that I, ah, uh, one of those things is like things like clickbait. Yeah, you guys, are, you guys know what you guys have experienced, I'm sure. Uh, things on YouTube where they're clickbait things uh like you know and it's something that i could easily do i could easily replicate it i could easily get you know strip down my my title to just one sentence of a of a key keyword search stuff like that i could just ponder that for a second i already know how to use all that my brain is actually pretty good when it comes to stuff like that knowing what people want to hear and how to hear it um i could get make a thumbnail where i i what do you call it? You could do the whole boob thing. That's kind of played out. You could mess around with with arrows, with circles, red, red's a key, uh, not a thing that our eyes catch. Same with green. Um, I could do all that. Um, I could also make my videos ten minutes. I thought about that. I've, I also, I could, um, and these are all things that are like <laughs> successful percentages increases that I could do. I could also. Um, Stop talking about me in my videos. I you know that's like a huge thing. Like I, I, I keep going back between videos where I, I'm trying to help people and be like a, a, a tour guide and like and explain to them the things that they may be struggling with in the game to help them. But then I also spend like a good five minutes talking about whatever the fuck's going on with me. I could stop doing that. That'd probably help. I could, I could stick to just making. Uh, gaming videos why do I even need to be in the corner you know uh, I'm sure a lot of people would get their tips and tricks and tutorial stuff that way faster and they'd be able to see in let it die's case the weapon in, in greater glory and, and all that other stuff what if I I uh, didn't even do commentary what if I just edited together my videos back to front uh, and that's it 
it would take significantly less time than how much time it takes now and probably more successful because it's not it's just kind of consumable you know what I mean it's packaged in a way that is easy oh I, I want to know how to get this I just go to this video click click oh that that's the floor range cool that's how he's doing it great grab stuff off to the races you go you win you you do the things uh, maybe I should just boycott gaming altogether and and just be the channel where I talk about stuff like here but then I love games and then but nope no that's not that's not that's not the point the point is is to to try to increase the percentage chance for your success because it's never guaranteed but there are things you can do to give yourself 10% chance a 10% 10 chance of success okay you're adding a thumbnail that's that's a bit curious and a little bit clickbaity hell maybe even a lot clickbaity yeah let's bump you up to 30% okay 30% chance you may succeed let's uh, trim the let's trim the title down to where it's only bare bones uh, things and it offers a question uh, so people are intrigued as well as the thumbnail uh, maybe, maybe get to 40% hmm maybe you start playing a character with which you know that people will completely accept but, it's, but also, you need to be a very good actor, because people can pick up on that. So if you're able to, to become a character that you know other people can digest, but also happen to be able to be good enough at playing that character that you can fool people. But let's be honest, you're, you're, not, a, you're not a great actor, so instead, what most likely you'll do is, is you'll put a little bit of yourself into that character. So there's, there's this weird aura of, of hard to detect. That you are a character because there are aspects of you in that character oh well, congratulations you're at 60 percent maybe even 80 it's a huge part of it it's being a person that people like to hear and like to listen to you're not necessarily honest but who needs to be i need to be honest people want to hear what they want to hear tag your videos follow the right trends at the right time a completely analytical don't look at comments look at numbers look at numbers because numbers beat be comments keep going that way keep going that way maybe um, at some point, you'll even make a video empathizing with your audience, even though you don't really read comments. And you know, instead of actually talking about your comments or comments that you've seen and read, uh, instead, uh, you'll just say, I love you to your audience. And that will make them feel like you care. It's by not showing any way you care. And I mean, damn, you've done it. You've gotten there. You've gotten to the place where, where so many people dream to be. Except it's not what you dreamed of, and it's not what they dreamed of. Instead, it's this thing, this thing that you made to be successful. And hey, you have money, you have advertiser deals, you have people that would just bum rush a store all around you, uh, begging for your attention. You've done it. But yet you're miserable, and you're sad, and you, you don't know why you did what you did. And that character that you play starts to not be good enough anymore and you start to get comfortable and you've lost the creator in YouTube content creator or just creator you've lost that aspect of it because what you started to do by following numbers works and you didn't need to change but as YouTube is YouTube things change and then you end up falling off something and because you haven't really created or tried to create anything new you have just followed the path of least resistance that's already made for you Boom, bam, you're kind of lost, and you don't know where to pick up anymore. Kind of the notion where it's like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm following this trend, I've done this trend, great, but now trends aren't working anymore. People are starting to forget about you, all these other things. And it's because you're not a content creator, you're a machine. You only care about a number or percentage. Now what? Now what do you do when the numbers don't make sense anymore? What do you have? What can you do? Ugh. I've seen so many videos of people talking about YouTube. Uh, why doesn't YouTube tell us our engine? Pfft, fuck, man. YouTube doesn't tell us uh, how to get the fucking golden apple. <laughs> you. Why do you need to know the golden apple? Why do you need to know all these metrics? I mean, I, I know you want to be successful, and I wouldn't. That's the thing that sucks is that I don't blame anyone anyone for like doing the clickbait thing I, I've been doing this for six years I know how frustrating it can be to put your fucking heart and soul into something and then for no one to give a shit I get it 
I wouldn't, I don't, I look, when I, when I see someone, uh, that's not true. So I guess the reason why <laughs> I, I don't, I don't do those things, it's not because I'm better than anyone. Fuck that. Fuck that. I'm a fucking crazy person as far as other people are concerned. You know, like, I, uh, I don't really blame anyone for, for doing the clickbait thing. Um, I don't gl blame anyone for doing the, the title thing. I don't blame anyone for, for being ten times as excited as they actually are. But then why do I do it? I don't know. But I won't. I don't know. I don't think I'm a better person. I want to make that clear. But I don't know. Like, the, the thing that happens with me is I'll, I'll be, I, like I said, I make YouTube videos, and I really love it, um, and I, um, I, I've been watching YouTube, that's another thing, like, I don't think people realize that I am a viewer, <laughs> like, 100%, I am a YouTube viewer, I was watching YouTube when I was 10, I was watching DSP play through Fallout 4 for the umpteenth time, <laughs> or Fallout 3, sorry, um, or no, I was watching his Bioshock playthrough, anyways, so I'm a viewer, like, first and foremost, and I'm subscribed to, like, a thousand channels that I love to pieces, um, and I'll watch one of their videos, and and so many of them have been good, and others not so good. They they done the whole clickbait thing and whatnot, which again, I get it, but personally, I can't explain. I can't express this to everyone. I'm sure other people don't care, but me, to me, it's like I I I'm, I'm scrolling through my sub feed, and then I see someone who has like a blatant ass thing, like a some sort of you know, clickbait, and there's some that I'm fine with, one where it's like, I'm jumping out of a plane, what's gonna happen, or, or we get tattoos in this video, Shane Dawson does it a lot, and it's, it's, I don't mind it, he does it in a way that's pretty, there's some respect to the viewer, some, um, same thing with Philip DeFranco and, and other people at PewDiePie, etc., there's some respect to it, but then there's other ones where I just, I just have zero patience, it's like whenever, and that's usually whenever there's like a, Whenever there's like clickbait of like sadness, like oh I'm, I'm I'm really upset, and there's like a watery eyes wiping a tear off their face, and that's like a one second of the video, or or when they're like oh, channel's ending, just kidding, or fucking shit like that. Like to me, I'm like, why did I? You're 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 baiting me in, because I give a shit about you. How dare? How dare you? That's fucked. That's so disrespectful. I don't know. I, I maybe I'm just a sensitive bitch, but I I can't handle that. I feel like so played. You know what I mean? When you like when you you I don't know. You see a video where someone's like I'm going through sadness or or the channel might be ending or some shit like that, um, and I'm just like, and then you go to that video and it's nothing to do with any of that, and it's and it's just like you fucking piece of shit. You piece of shit. Yeah, fuck me for giving a shit about you. What a way to go. Way to, way to reward the person that cares about you for that shit. So, to me, that, that's what I feel. And it's a, that's my feeling in it. It's like, I, I can't express how I feel as a viewer just fucking shit on when that stuff happens. When all these things happen. When you see a title that has no information about it and you're like, guess I'll click that, but is it anything that I think it is? Oh, no, it's not. Okay, well, what the hell is the title there for? Ah, <sighs> this is getting messy. This is this messy tune, like all the way from. But anyways, um, yeah, to try to align my point in my mind, um, that that's the feeling that I get um, as a viewer, and I am a viewer that also happens to be a YouTube person who who, who does YouTube videos, um, and I I don't want to do that to anyone because it's a shitty feeling, even when it's when it's like decent clickbait when it's not like meant to be vindictive or mean like oh we got tattoos but we didn't get tattoos actually we're just there's just fucking paint on i even i still feel lied to i still feel disrespected to a certain extent and like i don't I, that, that, i think that's why i don't want to make my audience feel that way because i felt that way i feel that way like I, I can't tell you i feel like fucking fucked with you know what i mean i feel like someone took me giving a shit about them or me having an, a vested interest in their success or well-being and just manipulates you with it <laughs> manipulates you with it, sorry. Um, and as to the other stuff, like, uh, playing the next popular game, even though I already kind of talked about that, I don't think it works. Um, and, and I talked about it there at some point, but the numbers game, it becomes about numbers. It becomes about getting a percentage increase. And I feel like anyone who plays any video game gets that. That, that chase for something like that. 
like you know what like when you're when you're leveling up a character in a video game when you're like oh we're at level 37 we're able to like beat that level one with one hit you know it's kind of like that um, we're, we're making like 10 times the money or the gold in that video game with that character now because we're farming higher end stuff and yada 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 I think I think the reason why I I don't like it the whole numbers game where I know some people get really vested into it and like they get their their heart and soul into it is because it's bad. It, it feels bad to me, especially in YouTube, because it's not like it's not XP in a video game. It's it's people. It's people and people giving a shit about what you made. So it 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 it, it felt toxic to me. Like I, I again, like two years ago, I was in that. I was in that a lot. I was in de- I was in that headspace. That I just went on about for t- fucking ten minutes. Um. And it, and it feels toxic, and I've always felt like I've always had a pretty good sense, whatever it is, that, like, is the reflex to survive. The reflex for, like, this is bad, this is hurting me, get away from me. Get the hell away from me, I don't care what you are, leave me alone, kind of thing. And I know some people who have, like, addic- addictive personality, that's the thing. Like, they'll, they'll grapple onto it, and they'll be like, I, I want more of this, I need more of this. But if there's ever, like, a question of if this is terrible for me I push it away which is funny because some would say that the whole YouTube thing and not getting a real job and doing all that crazy shit is really fucking bad for you but that's the thing is I'm like okay well we're getting a little ahead of ourselves I know we're already this deep in and we're not done yet <laughs> anyways so the ultimate question is I guess for all that muck um is well why you know you know all those things why don't you do them why haven't you taken the plunge yet to do those things? You know, even just a test. You know, again, like you said, you don't have any moral issue with it. And yeah, you told us about, a, you know, not exactly agreeing with her, feeling fucked up and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. But why haven't you done it? I'm not sure if you guys remember because it's been such a long time at this point. But it, like back, like it's been like 20 minutes. But I was talking about, uh, I said at some point, maybe I cut it out. But I said, I don't think I, I don't think I'm made for this. And that's what I kind of felt. Like that, that was the whole journey of, of that. Is like, to me, it's like. I'm not naive, you know, I, I, I know that that is the thing, those things I mentioned, they greatly increase the 1% chance that you have at a base level, even less nowadays, of getting anything, getting any success when it comes to being a personality or, or just being there for people, Who? Why, what makes you so good that you should be there for me, you know, wh- wh- etc. But that's exactly why I said, you know, I don't think I'm made for this, because like, I, I know all those things, I'm not going to do them. And, and, and I, I wanted to talk about this, but what do you call it? It's funny because something in this comment that, that I read that started this in my head again, put me back in this, this world, which I'm not staying. I'm just, I'm just here for this video. I'm just staying in this box for now in this video. I will leave shortly, I promise. But um, it's that I have, a, I, have a, I have this a lot. Um, where people like this constantly come up to me. And then, like, not only people in comments, but my family, friends, stuff like that, they'll ask me, like, Maybe if you did this, maybe if you did that, then it's not that I don't want to hear their thoughts or, or give a shit about their voice or opinion or, or perception on things. But I don't know. Not only is it does it feel like kind of a disregard for the things that you're doing and effort, and it's not meant to be that way. I know it's not meant to be that way. I know when people say stuff like this, it's meant to come from a like a loving, helpful heart. But I don't know, cause uh, like what do you call it? my uh, my dad? He's amazing, and he'll always uh, he'll always say something along the lines of, uh, uh, well, maybe if you you know you, cause uh, back in the day, I made a video that he really liked, um, which was me. Um, I always wanted to be uh, a, a veterinarian, didn't want to be that anymore. Um, game tester, or not game tester, game designer, um, game concept builder, I suppose. <laughs> Um, doesn't look like it's happening. And then the third one uh, was writer. Um, and uh, I, I wrote this. It was like a project for LA or something that where you where you write you, you rewrite Macbeth or something. And I showed it to him. Um, he really liked it. And I basically I gave a voice to every character. I added music. I did the whole editing thing because at this time I was doing YouTube. Um, and he really liked it. And he's like, well, maybe you should do more of that on your YouTube channel. And to some extent, he's absolutely right. There's not, like, the only person I can think that does something story-driven like that is a few, like, horror channels, but also, uh, Cry? Cry? Yeah, <laughs> Cry does it. Um, he does that kind of, like, thing that I did, or he did for me, I'm sure, <laughs> but yeah. 
Um, so there's room to grow in that avenue. So it's not that like I, I again I see the value in what there's what people are saying, the advice that people are giving me. It's just a matter of like that that person that I that that thing that I was was a minute ago where I was explaining to you that, that to me the cycle of that I've seen countless times on YouTube being a viewer and feeling it myself. Um it, it ends like that. It always ends with like, well, why are you creating anything? You know, I want to be a creator. I want to make things for people. I want to show people things I think are amazing. Um, construct things in a way that makes them fun to watch. I'm not sure if I'm there yet. I'm not sure if I'm even close. But yeah, I, I, I like, I completely understand what people are coming from when they're trying to help. But there's also this part of me that's like, I don't, I don't want to. Like, like, yes, I know that that's a way for, for you to be successful. But what if I don't want to? And then that brings me to that point where I was, where I maybe I'm just not made for this. And I hit, I hit that wall uh, two years ago, I think. Yeah, where I was just like, I don't want to be that. I know that that, that, that that is the thing. I'm fully aware that is the thing. That is the way. That is the the golden ticket. That is the the thing again. Like it's it's like having a one percent chance, and everything you do with the things I went through increased your chances. I'm fully aware of that. But what happens when you're not willing to be the ten percent increased thing, the ten, the twenty percent increased uh, thing, the thirty percent increased thing? Maybe you're just not made for it. And boop, that's where I was. But uh, about two years ago, I was at a point where I was like, you know, maybe I'm not made for this. And then I was like, well, probably not, <laughs> probably not made for this. But I really like the analogy of that. You know, every single video, you have a chance of uh, it being successful. The more people are here, the longer time goes on, it becomes lesser and lesser. In 2012, it was probably 50% chance for people to give a shit and care. And as it went on and as more people rise, there's less eyes you know, flowing about. Uh, so your percentage of a person giving a shit went down and down and down. And, and now it's probably a 1% chance, probably even less, significantly less to do that. And you can do these things to increase your percentage chance to get those eyes. But for me, I didn't want to, to me, it wasn't worth the thing that I had to be for the ends of the means. You know what I mean? The end means didn't justify what I had to be to get there. You know, because that's also an argument. Well, what if you just had to do this to get big, have a stable income, and then you could do whatever you want. And then you could be like PewDiePie and start like taking liberties with what you do and etc. It still doesn't seem like a fucking thing that I want to do. You know, I'd rather have a dedicated audience that knows what I make and enjoys what I make than uh, people that are barely hanging on by a thread, you know? Um, that, but uh, anyways, I came up with the, the whole thing where it's like, you know what? That's fine. I may not be made for this. I may not be this or that but I'll still be here I'll still be here flipping that coin for that 1% chance that maybe never maybe never will happen <laughs> maybe uh, I'll entice one person that day one person that day maybe three people that day maybe four people that day I'll keep flipping that coin um, as many times as I, I have to do I may, I may be 60 being here being like hi <laughs> I'm a 60 year old man <laughs> still on YouTube Still trying to entertain people and whatnot. And it's funny, because right around this time uh, that I read this comment, um, I was getting in my head about it again. I was like, am I evolving? Am I am I really fucking up here? I, like, I'm, I'm like, am I just an idiot? I should just go to college or some shit and not be a fucking idiot? Um, and, and do this or that or abandon this entirely? And then I kill that immediately. There's like, there's not a future for me that doesn't have something like this in it. I know it's crazy, but it's just how I feel and how I am. I'm stubborn. <laughs> but anyways, um, right around this time, I'm not sure what it is, but maybe I got, I got, I got one hell of a guardian angel. I'm not even religious, but <laughs> maybe I got one hell of a guardian angel because right around this time, when I was feeling a bit weird about it. Um, PewDiePie uh, made a video talking about the, the nature of YouTube and, and what it is and what it is now. And I thought, oh my god, what timing? Because this was like, read this comment, triggered me a little bit, and then the following day when I was kind of still like, eh, boom, that comes out. Which is just a video where he says something that I've always believed, uh, but it's always nice to hear, which is something that you guys have echoed to me in the past, which is no matter what, make what you like, um, and that's it. If you don't like what you make, then what's the point? 
go get a desk job somewhere else go go do something else it's it's just nothing if you don't enjoy the content that you're making then why make it you can't count on yourself to be successful but you can at least take the joy in making something that you want to make you can never really count on others to give you what you want but you can sure as hell try to give yourself something that you can give yourself <laughs> which is the happiness of creation um and yeah uh, which again like I, I this whole thing was me acknowledging the the uh nature of trends and 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 uh the cycle of of the percentage increase that you must do or you can do um and all those things uh but yeah no i for those guys who are worried or whatever um i'm i'm perfectly happy and i'm, I'm happier now definitely than i was two years ago um, and yeah, thus far I've just been having a f fantastic time with YouTube. I've been making what I want to make. I'm enjoying what I'm making. Um, views fluctuate, games die. I'll still be here, regardless. Um, hopefully you guys are okay with that. Um, but that was my whole shtick on the six years of the cycle of YouTube that I've seen. Uh, maybe I don't know anything. Uh, be sure to tell me. Uh, but yeah, this was a long video. Um, I thought I'd make it again. Just a let's talk. Just kind of a therapy to air out my head. Uh, yeah. Uh, again, I'm going to keep making whatever I want to make. And whoever cares to, to stick around, <laughs> awesome. But that's it. That's all I'll ever try to take from this. Because taking anything more damages the soul, so to speak. Anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, uh, I do not deserve you. Especially if you made it all the way to the end. You're amazing and crazy. <laughs> Maybe as crazy as I am. Uh, but thank you so much for watching as always i do appreciate you guys to no end and i hope this video didn't make you guys feel like you weren't enough um you guys are amazing and more than i deserve uh, and i truly mean that again i don't expect anyone to give a shit um and anything like that anyways uh, thank you guys so much for watching as always uh, i hope this wasn't ma making you upset or sad i'm okay i'm happy um just thought i'd talk about something that i feel like worth talking about Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, subscribe button above me. Two videos to my right. Thank you so much, and goodbye.